Hi guys, in today's episode we shall be taking a look at one of the best kid films of the last decade plus we shall be taking a look at the, one of the best Lego games of all time and on top of that we shall be taking a look at one of the best rock and roll tunes of all time and ever written. Let's get into it after this intro. Hi guys, this is CK and we are on the r and YouTube channel and also this is our new series which we are hopefully trying to grow in which is our recommend three video which we uh, layer up a nice beautiful cake of absolute awesomeness for you to go have a taste so you've got your starter which is a lovely film a lovely to nice little thick layer which you can get your teeth into then you've got your lovely game which you can also get your teeth into and honestly you'll love that layer oh you've got some juiciness there that's your meaty section then you've got your lovely musical top, the cherry on the top that finishes that cake off. And honestly, these things that I'm going to recommend to you today are going to blow your mind. So keep tuned and let's get on to it. Let's get on to the first recommend of the day, the starter. Something to get you ready for, for your week and your week off, whatever. Whatever it may be, whenever you have some spare time and you're going to sit down and watch a film. This is a film I recommend for you to go watch today or whenever you get some spare time. So the film I recommend to you is the 2014 The Lego Movie in which I know you might be thinking it's a kid's film, it's quite annoying and I'm like 20 odd year old and it's just sort of like nobody cares, nobody cares how old you are, just go and fucking watch it, honestly you'll like it. Honestly, if, you, if, if, if you're worried about people that you don't know in the film, or you might be like, mm, not too sure. It mixes like humans and Lego together. It's just sort of like, whoa, mind blown. Oh, in Lego Movie, if you're looking at actors and actresses, you have Chris Pratt who plays Emmett. You have Will Arnett that plays Batman. You have Elizabeth Banks that plays Lucy. You have Alison Brie that plays Unikitty. Plus Will Ferrell is in the film as the president. These are some big named actors, quite star studded if you ask me and this is what makes this film quite good and levels above other kids films and to me it was a generational sort of film, it needed to happen because we all wanted to see it, we all anticipated to see it and to me it delivered because it chose the right people to play the right uh, characters. Also, if you're bothered about ratings, it is rated at 7.7 at IMDb and a 96% on Rotten Tomatoes, which is fairly good for a kid's film because I think Shrek, if you watch my movie review, were about a 7.9. So in terms of, if you're looking at IMDb ratings, it is quite a good film. Um, my rating, if I were to review this film, would be higher. But obviously this isn't a review, this is just a recommend, so... Obviously, it is a big film and I do still recommend you go watch this, but we won't get into my ratings and things of this because it's not a review, like I said. This film also grossed 468.1 million uh, to this day. As far as I'm aware, it could have raised more, could have could have done a lot more money than that, but that's the figure I found on the interweb. So, hopefully it's right, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, I strongly go suggest you watch this film it's uh adventurous you get something that you don't normally see as well is characters from different shows and movies in that in that one film because as a lego you can you can expand across loads of different franchises like um like lego movie you can i think the simpsons even appear in like some of the simpsons characters just appear in this court, in this sort of like, what I mean by court is like a court of law, and they're just s sat on some stools and stuff, so they're in it, and you've got other famous characters out of certain films in this as Lego characters, so I think if, if you're thinking of something to watch on your time off, this is the film for you, go check it out, let me know what you thought of that film in the comments below, was it a good recommendation or not? Anyways, let's get on to the next thing on my list. Next up then is the video game. The, the, the main course, as you like. 
before we get to his dessert. We've had a starter, we've had the film, now it's time for the video game that I'm recommending to you today to go and play. And if you're thinking, how long is this game, I'll just tell you first. It's, it, it'll probably take you uh, maybe a week to complete because of all the collectibles. If you're looking to complete it 100%, if you're just looking to collect certain things, uh, if you're just looking to complete the story, I think it won't take you too long. A few days, if that. So let's get into this. Then it is Lego Harry Potter 1 to 4. And to me, this is one of my favourite Lego games of all time. I think it is the best Lego game of all time. People may argue that it's Star Wars, people may argue it's Indiana Jones, but I don't I don't think so. Because this is the first Lego game where the characters and I think the last one as well where the characters are actually found in the mission levels. So those three characters that you have to find in each mission level plus your normal mini kits and your house crests in which makes this game interesting. And I, I really love playing this game. I've must complete it maybe five or six times the best one by far in my opinion and um yeah it's really interesting to play and you relive through all the films all of them obviously not like your your new spin-offs like your fantastic beasts but it lives but there's a five to seven but this relives through the four first films but if you get five seven as well you gotta play through all the films but yeah, honestly, it recreates them amazingly. And playing as your favourite characters is is amazing as well. If you're looking at ratings, everywhere rated this game around an 8.10 in terms of a game. Because you don't really have likes of Rotten Tomatoes rating this film. However, IMDb's rating, which is rated by the people, has a 7.6 rating out of 10. Which isn't too shabby. I, I, I don't know how... Games are ranked on IMDb according to... I just really trust the film and TV show ones better because more people are likely to uh, rate it, whereas games, you wouldn't associate that with IMDb, but they had a rating, so I put it on. 7.6 IMDb. And I would probably rate this higher because I think it's the best LEGO game of all time. And I think... It's great how you can just play as the characters because there's no other great Harry Potter game out there. Let me know if you, you know a great Harry Potter game that I can go check out because as far as I'm aware, I played a couple on the PS2 back in the day. But honestly, I think the best thing to play as Harry, Ron, Voldemort and all these other great characters is to play it on the Harry Potter Lego games because there's no other way you can play as your favourite characters otherwise on any other Harry Potter game that I know. So I would say, yep, yeah, go go check out this. It's not much to buy. You can, if you're thinking what why, what consoles is it on to, to to play? It's on PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, and Xbox One. It is also on your your Wii's, your PSPs, I think, and your DS. We had it for DS, Wii, and PS3, PS4. We bought it several times because it's just a great game. And yeah, so. Let's get on to the dessert then, the lovely tastiness of the dessert, which is the song I will be recommending to you. Uh, interrupting the actual video, we just really want to say thank you for the support that we are receiving for this channel and that we want our channel to grow. Our aim is to get 50 subscribers by hopefully the end of the year, if that is possible. And we're hoping to get quite a lot of likes, comments, just, just help, help the channel grow uh, because we really appreciate it. And we really, really want you to keep watching as much as possible because we want to provide the best content for you and for everybody else. So the way you can make this channel grow is, like I said, like, subscribe, keep commenting. Let me know your recommendations, your reviews that you want to see on this channel. And also, if you haven't noticed already, we have got an Instagram account, rnr.2022. I repeat, rnr.2022, it should pop up on the screen. There should be a link in the description, hopefully, for you to go check out and uh, see for yourself what content we bring and why you should like, subscribe and comment because this channel is amazing. Now, let's get back to the, into the dessert and let's get on with the song that we have chosen to recommend for you today in which is no other than the be one of the best rock and roll songs ever written and that is Morning Glory by Oasis. 
This song for me is the epitome of the attitude and the 90s of, of Oasis, of the Oasis era in the 90s, because it has everything. The attitude, the, Liam's vocals, Liam's Liam's absolute raw in his voice. You've got Noel's guitar playing. Everything was at its peak. This is 1995, probably Oasis' best year in terms of success, honestly. And if you're just wondering... Okay, so what you, you've explained why, why why this song brings attitude and things like that, but is it a good song? Yes, it is an amazing song. Honestly, if, if you listen to Morning Glory, the link will be in the description for the YouTube video. Uh, so straight after this, you can go ahead and listen to that. Honestly, it it blows your mind. It's just sort of like, how can this be written? It is so, so good. And um, the way... The, the guitars are roaring all the way through and how the song gets you so beat as well and yeah and to me this this was what summed up the 90s this defined an era the, this certain song and some other songs done by Oasis that, that were just so tasty so nice that's why it's the dessert on this list also this was on the big one of the biggest albums of all time and I'm not going to stress this enough. This was on the What's the Story Morning Glory album of Oasis. Their biggest and best record to date. And goes down as one of the best records of the 90s. And in the and ever in the, in the past like 30 years or so. Honestly. If you've never heard of Oasis. Just bang on the What's the Story Morning Glory, now, Glory album. And you'll love it. The, honestly I'll, I'll try to put, put it in the chat. Or there'll be a picture popping up or whatever. For you to, to to go check out that 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 album, and yeah, it's just so good that you cannot stop listening, and that's that's what got me into Oasis to me, because I'm a big fan of Oasis. But I got introduced with the songs like Wonderwall, Don't Look Back in Anger, Supersonic, those sorts of ones that everyone's heard of. But Morning Glory, that was a breath of fresh air for me. That was just so. It got your salt beat. It was so such like the guitars roaring, the drums fucking having it, and it was just and the raw and the aggression in Liam's voice, and the so smooth vocals as a it, sorry it cannot be touched. This era of music. Also, this was released as a single, not in the UK though. It, this was only released as a single in Canada and Australia, and New Zealand, I think. Um, in which had a B-side of such songs as Rocky and Chair, Better People, and Live Forever, Glastonbury 1995. So, if you're looking to get it as a single, as a vinyl, I think you're probably going to have to look very, very hard, because you're probably not going to find it. But if you just get the What's Story Morning Glory album, it's on there. And all the other b-side tracks are on that album as well on the b-side of the album so also go check that out please go and check this song out i think if you're not an oasis fan or you've never listened or heard of them before you will as soon as you hear this tune and honestly this song could probably get you into oasis if you're loving a bit of rock and roll loving a bit of rock you're loving a bit of like i don't know some american rock shit that this will blow your mind honestly so I just want to say thanks for thanks for joining us on today's Recommend 3 episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you want to see on Recommend 3 or on, on any or if you, you've heard of a film or a TV show and you watched it and you think, oh, that's fucking amazing. Get it in the chat. Let me know what it is. Let me get in on your recommends. Know what I mean? And then I can show other people your recommends and review it and recommend it to other people, get it out there in the world, we want this channel to grow as well, just putting that out there, so I want you to like, subscribe and comment, and if, you, if you've enjoyed this video guys, give it a nice like, like we've said, and thanks for joining us today, and hope to see you in the next video in a week's time hopefully, see you later.